Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I did take a little trip to New York City just to me and myself because Broadway's open. I was so excited. I saw Wicked. I saw Come From Away. I saw Waitress. Just such a great time. So excited Broadway's open. You have to be vaccinated. You have to wear a mask. Politics aside, I felt safe there, and I'm excited. I will do whatever it is to go and see the shows that I love and do the things that I love. But anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on that because I have two Rose Girls Halloween samplers that I want to dive in. So, I want to smell. I want to talk to you guys. So let's get into it. So the first thing in the box is a little sample. I say little sample because I'm so used to saying little sample. This is not a little sample. This is a nice big size pumpkin shape. Pull it out. This you could easily probably get three melts out of and it is in pumpkin pecan waffles, donut holes, and vanilla crunch donuts. Ugh. It's good. It's good. It's like a creamy pumpkin pecan waffle scent. Vanilla crunch donuts, Donut holes, like it's just like a very creamy bakery pumpkin pecan waffles. And I think every single person who got the samplers got this as a sample. So let me know what you guys think of it. Now, into the samplers. Now, the way that Rose Girl samplers work is there's one fixed price and there's a sampler. You're not, they don't put a list of everything that comes in the sampler, it is a mystery. And Typically, there's a few different options. So there were two different mystery bags. I got both of them. So I have, I don't even know, 30 some different scents in these bags. So I'm not gonna go too much in depth on each one, but I wanna preface this video by saying, I appreciate so much honesty in the YouTube community lately. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of non-honesty by some people and I'm very appreciative that there is more honesty and honesty is continuing. I'm disappointed in this samplers. For $36, I would say 20% of these are fall Halloween scents. And Jessica D talked in her video, I'll link her video down below. She literally said exactly what I was feeling. It's not Rose Girls. This is not what I pay for. Rose Girls is amazing. They have amazing blends. They have beautiful chunks. And just seeing the lack of communication on a lot of people talking about on her Facebook group, being disappointed with the throw. It's not the Rose Girls that I remember from years ago. And I don't know. It's interesting to me. But I was so excited for the sampler. And I'm pretty disappointed. So... The first sampler we have Stolen Hoodie, which is fluffy towels and cologne, and there's two little chunks, so fluffy towels and cologne, it's more like a really fresh scent. So fluffy towels, if you're not familiar, is a Yankee Candle dupe. It's a very clean, crisp, white towel laundry fragrance. And then it just says cologne. I'm not really sure what cologne is in here. Not mahogany tequa, but it smells like a very sweet, masculine, obviously, cologne mixed with fluffy towels. It's it's a nice one. Then I have a little um, ghost, and this is in Espresso, Dunk My Donut, Cup of Cake, Vanilla Bean Noel. So, a really rich, creamy coffee scent. And yeah, I mean, to me, I really just smell a creamy coffee. Like, almost like a, a macchiato type of coffee scent. Really creamy, milky, frothy coffee. I like that one. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice, if you say it three times, you know what happens. And this is like a Halloween theme, and there's little pieces of candy. And Jessica talked about this too in her video. It smells very similar to something else she has. It smells like a very Satsuma forward fragrance. I'm not sure what it is. There's no notes, but it's a very Satsuma fragrance. It's really yummy, though. I really like it. And the thing is, I like the scents. Don't get me wrong. I like the scents. But strawberry, blueberry, rice, crispy treats. Halloween? Fall? Strawberry, blueberry, rice, crispy treats. No. 
It smells so good though. The strawberries like strawberry jam. The blueberry, really, really rich and creamy. The Rice Krispie treats are gooey marshmallow. Oh, it's so yummy. I, again, just wish that this was not called a Halloween sampler. 100 Acre Wood. This is chestnuts, sandalwood, marshmallow, fireside, and a vanilla. And this is a cute little, like, pumpkin with a hat. It's very sandalwood heavy. I love her vanilla sandalwood, vanilla lace, marshmallow. Is that it? I I'm not exactly sure exactly what it is, but I love that scent. This, to me, smells like a Lush soap. I can't think of which one it is, but the more I smell it, the more I smell a Lush soap. But it's a very sandalwood heavy scent. Ghoul Friends, and just like she said, like, everybody I feel like has smelled this scent. This is a little, um, like, headstone, and it's like, what, pumpkin sugary donuts, and it's just like a really sugary, cinnamony, pumpkin bready note. Mmm, it's, it's yummy. I love that scent. Next, we have Cornbread Cinnamon Roll Muffins. It's that same little pumpkin shape. I don't really smell any cornbread. To me, I just smell like a cinnamon bakery. Yeah, like a really cinnamony, sugared, like a cinnamon sugar toast, almost. So, it's yummy. It just, I don't smell really any cornbread. <gasps> Pumpkin apple cake batter. Little ghost. Now, this is awesome. I love this scent. Pumpkin apple. It's just so creamy and crisp. Pumpkin and apple. But I, I, the cake batter... Sure, to me, cake batter is just like a really creamy, like, blender scent. So it's like a very creamy version of pumpkin apple. Pistachio Bear Claws. Again, I am not really getting the Halloween reference from Pistachio Bear Claws. I mean, it's more bakery than Halloween. But, oh, pistachio is really strong. I love pistachio scent. It's very... I don't want to say potent, but it's potent. Like, if you want a scent that's really strong, if you're having, like, a rut and you're like, I'm not smelling much of anything right now, like, I feel like I'm having a hard time smelling my wax, pop a pistachio blend in your warmers, whoa, knock your socks off. And then mix with a, like, cinnamony, buttery, nutty, yeasty scent of a bear claw. Delicious. Cider Lane Carbs, you know I'm a sucker for anything, Cider Lane, and then mix with her Carbs fragrance. Delish, it's yummy. It's definitely like a bready, pretzely note mixed with the Cider Lane. And if you're unfamiliar with Cider Lane, it's like the best gooey caramel apple scent you've ever smelled. And then Vermont Honey Apple Royal Sugar Cookies. Vermont Honey Apple's a Bath and Body Works body care dupe. So immediately when I smelled this, it smells like an apple body care. Like, I can literally picture me putting on that lotion when I smell this. Like, it smells like body care. And then mixed with royal sugar cookies. Just like a creamy, rich sugar cookie. It's really yummy. And then the last one in the sampler is probably my favorite out of all the entire order. Is a Huckleberry Zucchini Bread Cupcakes. So, Cupcakes is Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And... On what a lot of people, I love cupcakes at Tiffany's. It's typically like a yellow cake with chocolate frosting, zucchini bread, and huckleberries. And if you know me, I'm a sucker for the huckleberry scent. So many people don't have it or it gets discontinued. This is a little brown chunk with purple wax. I love huckleberry. It's just like a rich berry. I can't describe it other than that. Like a rich, warm berry. Mixed with the zucchini bread and the cupcake. Oh my god, like total bakery heaven. Like if you have people coming over for your house for dinner and you're going to be in like the living room talking and stuff for a good while, I feel like this is a great party scent because it's so just rich and comforting and delicious. So I'm putting these back in the bag to show you again. This was one of the Halloween samplers. Now, I believe she's having some extras put on the website on the 6th. I haven't really looked because I'm not participating in it. But, so that was the one sample, $36. It's a little pricey, in my opinion, for the lack of 
fall Halloween scents. So, I'm going to dive into the second one. Alrighty, the first one is Lollipop Land. If blue raspberry lollipops doesn't scream Halloween, I don't know what it does. Yeah, it smells like a blue raspberry snow cone, like a really sweet, sweet, syrupy snow cone. It's a really good scent, but again, not Halloween. I hate that I keep saying that, but Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow is a pretty basic scent in my opinion. It's like a, just like a Jet Puff Marshmallow. Like in the bag, that's what I think Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow smells like to me. So mixed with that like bakery cupcake scent. It's nice. I feel like it's going to be a good blender scent. Or like if I'm putting like a really great bakery scent in a lot of my warmers and I have a couple empty warmers, pop that in to blend with it. Caramel Apples in Cookie Land. It's a very interesting baby pink and like baby blue. Like this is very like baby shower, not Halloween. I know. A lot of negativity on my channel lately, but I'm, you know, a consumer and I love Jenny. I love Rose Girls. This is not Rose Girls quality. And everybody's been saying the same thing, so it's not just me. And if you love it, great! I'm so happy for you. I, I don't. Mmm. It's a good scent though, like caramel apples mixed with cookie land. Delish. Caramel apple, rich, gooey, creamy caramel. Grave Digger. This is like a real scary looking guy. Ooh, he's scary. And this is Blue Sugar Sage Bergamot Water. Bar Bergamot and Woods. So like a very masculine, masculine, sweet, sugary cologne scent. Like to me, Blue Sugar is definitely dominant and the Bergamot. Like I feel like it's a Blue Sugar Bergamot fragrance. It's good. Bergamot, like a warm citrusy orange. Then we have Lavender Linen and Sweater Weather. So Lavender Linen is also a Bath & Body Works scent, like a really... I like this. This is very fresh. Lavender Linen, crisp white sheets with like spring, like your favorite lavender pillow mist. I feel like that you get that vibe from this. This is a very clean sheets with lavender spray. And then you have a Sweater Weather candle burning in the room. Like I feel like that sets this mood. Totally. I think this is going to be a really nice um, go-to-bed scent. Campfire Marshmallow, Saltwater Taffy, Halloween, and Cup of Cake. Love me a Saltwater Taffy in the in Halloween. Whoops. And a chunk fell off, but um, I definitely smell a lot of Saltwater Taffy. It's definitely the dominant note. Campfire Marshmallow, sweet, gooey. I'm not getting much cup, cup cupcake though. <laughs> Apple cotton candy marshmallow bombs. Halloween. Oh, I like this. I definitely like this. It's very sweet cotton candy, and her cotton candy oil is strong. Mixed with marshmallow. It's definitely like cavity giving scent. Like you can feel like, oh, I would definitely get a cavity smelling this. But it's good. I like that the apple isn't overpowering in it because sometimes apple can do that. Blueberry pumpkin pancakes peeps cake. Blueberry pumpkin is something that I think is so interesting because it's something that is so off the wall. Like you would never expect to put blueberry and pumpkin together. But it works in so many ways because blueberry is, you know, ripe and fresh where pumpkin is warm and creamy and typically more of like a bakery scent where blueberry, I mean, blueberry can be bakery too, obviously, but uh, it really works. And the pancake in here, that pancake oil that she's using is out of this world. Delish. Pumpkin spice latte. I have this one from the coffee sampler and it's nice. It's a very... Very, very strong coffee and pumpkin spice. Like, I feel like it's 50-50, which you don't really get a whole lot of the time. If you smell pumpkin spice latte, you smell more of like a rich coffee, but I smell like equal parts. Oatmeal cookie fluff puffs. Oatmeal cookie is so interesting in wax because 
I don't feel like they actually smell like an oatmeal cookie. I'm missing that raisin part. And I guess it's not oatmeal raisin cookie, so it's probably that's why, but when I think of oatmeal cookie, I think of an oatmeal raisin cookie. Yeah, and it's just a very spicy cinnamon bakery scent. If you like cinnamon stick, like a, like a really hearty um, cinnamon stick mixed with bakery, I think you'll like that. It's not like a cinnamon sugar bakery. Vanilla hazelnut coffee sugar cookie dough, and it's in a little owl shape. I love coffee scents. And I love this. It is like a hazelnut coffee, like a creamy, rich, delicious coffee scent. I love melting a coffee scent in the morning. And to me, even if it is a thousand degrees outside, you're still going to drink your iced coffee, right? So why can't you melt coffee all year long? I love coffee. It just It's such a comforting scent. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Birthday Cake in a Little Acorn. Mm. This is nice. It's definitely a sweet Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Like, if you never thought Pumpkin Pecan Waffles could get sweeter, it can. And Sweet Pumpkin Pie Cider Lane Marshmallow Smoothie. I have this in... Now, see, this is very fall. This, like, burgundy red wax with this, like, burnt orange... I definitely have this in Chunk Muffins. I love it. I love the Cider Lane. Love Cider Lane. I feel like the other scents, I'm not getting pumpkin pie. I'm not getting marshmallow. I'm just getting Cider Lane. So I'm hoping that when I melt it, those other notes will come out. I'll probably use the muffins first because those probably have cured longer than this. But yeah, so I know it wasn't the most uplifting video, um, but I wanted you guys to see if you guys are interested in it. Don't get me wrong. I like the scents. I just, if I looked at these out on a table and smelled them, I would not believe they were Rose Girls. There's nothing that screams Rose Girls about these. And they're just not Halloween scents. Like, I would never be like, if you laid all those scents on the table, I'd be like, mm, interesting. I would not say Halloween sampler or even a fall sampler. I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. Again, I still love Rose Girls. I'm saving all my coin for the Rose Girls Mario pre-order that'll happen around Christmas because I love her Mario scents and I'm hoping they don't disappoint because I've been waiting a really long time to order some of my Shy Guy, which is like a shaving cream scent. You know how much I love a shaving cream blend from VCS. So super excited about that, but these are probably going to go in my drawer for, you know, next year, and we'll see. I feel like Rose Girls Wax does really need a cure for a long time. I melted, what did I melt the other day from Rose Girls? It's going to be in my trash talk video. And I, I say that, it's not a trash, I don't talk trash. I talk about everything I used up and empty that is in the trash. But anyway, I will talk about those. I did have good luck, but it was something that I let cure for a really long time. Oh, banana bread carbs. My friend gave me from February. So I do feel like Rose Girls Wax really needs to cure a long time. And yeah, that's that. So these are going to sit in the drawer for a while and we'll see what happens then. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Had a great week. Happy October. Super exciting. I love that it's October. My favorite month of the whole entire year. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.